Right at Mount Sinai District 10 stands this exclusive project, Beverton Court, with only 54 units in a single tall tower. With only three units per level made out of three and four bedrooms primarily. However, right at the top, there stands two mega ginormous penthouses, approximate at 9,000 and 9,000 odd square feet in nature, spreading over three different levels, being a triplex penthouse. And we are bringing you with us on this tour to one of these mega penthouses in the sky. Follow Proplinum Brothers on this penthouse tour. Let's go. Alright, so we're coming from the private lift. Now, this private lift opens straight into your foyer and you still have the main door that has two visitor lifts that serves this area. So, I'm going to bring out the floor plan first. If not, all of us are going to get confused because this home is so huge. Level 1 gives you this beautiful high ceiling living zone. You have a separate beautiful dining area here. Beautiful powder room right here at your entrance and you can also link back towards your enclosed kitchen which is extremely huge by the way. Three bedrooms on level 1, five bedrooms on level 2 out of these 8 bedrooms. 5 of them are en suite and as you head on to the mezzanine level, you have a beautiful family area that overlooks towards the south side as well which is just right on top of the living area and then the roof terrace place is simply fantastic. With your private jacuzzi as well as a full on sauna and shower area, your own bathroom right there on the roof terrace which is extremely rare for a penthouse status. Floor plate wise, fantastic. 8,902 square feet spread over these three different levels. The private lift serves level 1 and level 2. If you have your parents staying together with you, if you have your old folks with you, they can use any of the bedrooms right on both levels. 4.56 meters ceiling, you'll get this very grand view with this beautiful chandelier right here in the living zone. Overlooking towards this beautiful south side view of the forested area, that is Dover MRT station right on the left hand side. If you can see those nice distinct buildings right there, that is actually Singapore Polytechnic. On the right hand side, that's towards Clementi Sunset. Now this entire forested area is going to be fantastic. If you look at the latest URA master plan, there's going to be an enormous amount of plans right here for future developments. That's going to increase the amount of residential status in terms of housing developments as well as potential new pricing benchmark right here. We're going to chat more about the price potential later on. So in the 1980s, this part of District 10 at Mount Sinai was demarcated as one of the most exclusive and luxurious areas. Three mega projects were developed during the 1979s till the mid-1980s. Richwood Condo, Pandan Valley as well as Pine Grove. This portion of Mount Sinai right now consists of close to 15 to 20 private developments. If you're looking for those with lesser density, Beverton Court is one of those with only 54 units in a high-rise living context. One of the closest parts to the forested area fronting towards this mega view towards the south part completed in the year 1984. There are only 54 exclusive units right here. Now, residential units will start from level 2 all the way to level 18. And this comprises of 51, 3 and 4 bedrooms units spread over the 3 different stacks. Because the 3 bedrooms here starts from 2,000 odd square feet till the 4 bedrooms at 3,000 plus square feet. So if you're looking for mega sizes apartments, this is the place to go. Level 19 bears home to 3 of its mega penthouses starting from 4,000 plus square feet. Another one at 8,009 square feet and one of the biggest one at 9,007 square feet. This one that we're standing right now is the 8,900 square feet triplex. I think it's very distinct if you want to look for penthouses above the 8,000 square feet range right here in Mount Sinai District 10. There are only close to about less than 10 of them above the 8,000 square feet demarcation. You have this very beautiful single load facing, meaning that you're actually sitting at this top of the building with no units flanking your front and the back. So right at the front, that's towards south, and then right towards the back, that's towards Bukit Timah, towards the north side. So that is Bukit Timah Hill. From Mount Sinai, it's very close to the King Albert Parks area as well. Both directions are extremely serene. You almost don't hear any road noise right here. And our dining space is fantastic. Currently, it's fitted with a nice Mandarin round table. They can fit up to a 10-seater just like in a Chinese restaurant. We also have this very beautiful crystal chandelier here.
Right tucked behind this wall, this is the ensuite bedroom, right on level one. And have a look at this bedroom. It's beautifully done. Marble flooring will be flush throughout the entire living and dining zone. Solid timber is what you get the moment you enter into the bedrooms. Now this is overlooking towards the Bukitima enclave, as well as the southern part of Pandan Valley as well. So view is fantastic. No direct afternoon sun towards all the bedrooms. Ensuite bathroom number one. Let's have a look. So this is a more Victorian classical theme. It gives you so much walking space right here. Huge fan of mirror. Very nice open facing over here as well. The key reason is because right on top of Beverton Court, there are only three penthouses and every penthouse enjoy an enormous amount of 270 degrees kind of facing. And as you come out to this common zone here, you're gonna have your second bedroom here. You gotta see a little bit of the Capel region right at the back, which will be the future northern southern waterfront. You get a little bit of that biopolis right there at the one north region. This is currently being used as a study room. You can sit here, do your work at home. You're still at level one. You can just enjoy your space right here. So this is really, I think, luxurious living right here. Carpentry has already been done. If you walk back up, there's actually a bonus third bedroom here that has already been configured to be a built-in movie theatre. High quality stuff that's already built into the wall for soundproofing. This mega screen can go up to about 75 inch television or maybe 80 inch speakers, pockets right at the side. So if you flip over this, the place for your sitting zone and you have all this storage space close to about 12 different cabinet panels right here that you can store all your collection, all your records as well. I'm gonna bring you through to this kitchen area clean huge big up to your creativity on how you want to revamp and renovate this place now something about this layout is that a lot of the places are flexible in nature if you want to remove certain walls this is extremely doable right on here kitchen is already in a move-in state our owners kept it mainly on a whitish theme and of course you have three different zonings one is for heavy cooking right here secondary area for prep area as well as the breakfast table zone you have this third area here so this will be the wet space view of Bugatima. There is an additional room at the back, very suitable to be a wine cellar. So you can renovate this place to be a wine cellar zone, or you can use this to be a spare storage zone as well. It's really up to you how you want to use it because on top of having this area either as your living helper zoning, let's say if you have two helpers staying together, view this fantastic for them. There is ensuite right here as well. You also have a spare bedroom, sort of like a utility room right here. So in your yard area, you have two rooms, either for storage or utility, up to you to decide. All right, so our inside sales team has three observations on the price action movement of the D10 Mount Sinai area in terms of its PSF movement right here. Now, the very first thing is that for brand new apartments, they go through three different price action movement. The first stage will be the tender bid price for the land when GRS land is being released. And the second stage will be the launch price when the show flat is being completed, what is being launched to the market for the primary first-hand owners. And that's what we call the launch price. The third stage will be the stage that the project is being completed and when it's being passed on to the secondary market as resale properties. For Slim Barrack, which is at the RCR zoning at the One North region, it's going to be stipulated to be launched above the $2,001 to $2,200 per square foot benchmark. What's going to happen when it TOPs in three to four years' time in the resale market is that the first hand owners will definitely want to price up by another $200 to $300 per square foot and thereby in about three to four years' time, 
The landscape for resale properties of brand new apartments might be ranging in the range of about $2,500 per square foot. If we go into the CCR zoning right here, they are trading at about $2,500 PSF for the 99 years launches. For freehold new launches, they are already trading in the range of about $3,000 to $3,500 per square foot. And when we look at what is happening at Beverton Court, in particular this mega penthouse at $1,009, from $1,009 all the way as its freehold status to what is happening in the CCR zoning for new launches going at three to three thousand five and that is the first observation in terms of its future potential as well as the disparity gap in terms of per square foot for freehold properties now second observation at about 10 to 15 years back it's very common that large size apartments will usually thread at a lower PSF compared to smaller size apartments so for example in Canning Hill Pierce the smaller apartments right there are trading in the range of three thousand to three thousand five hundred dollars per square foot but the mega penthouse that was being transacted at 48 million it was being done at 5,000 plus per square foot which is at least close to 2,000 odd dollars above the average transaction pricing. The reason this trend has happened we think is because of the fact that rarity now is an ultimate luxury in the residential market. The more unique the property is, the less in supply the property is. I think the per square foot performance has changed starting from the past five years. Now last but not least is that at $1,900 per square foot mark if you go on to the resale market, I think even in the OCR region, close to a lot of properties that are going to be launched in the next two years, and if they are of 99 new launch status, they are already going in the range of $1,000 to $2,000 per square foot. So I think entering at $1,009 on a PSF level will definitely have a lot of capital appreciation room to grow. This is your private foyer automated lighting system. So you get a private lift here as well. It's also not easy to get penthouses with a private lift that comes straight to level two because most of the penthouses, no matter whether they're duplex or triplexes, they only have the lift serving towards their level one zoning. And level two and three definitely is being served by the internal staircase. You still have the two visitors common lift right here outside at a common lobby. So you have three lifts serving level 19 and level 20. So this can also be an additional area for all your shoes and all your storage need. This is the bedroom zone. Now all the rooms are enormous in size. Let's just check out the first one. In total, level two has five different bedrooms. So right now in this current configuration, you have four huge bedrooms. But of course, if you want to put back into the five original bedroom status, that is very easily doable. You have this beautiful ensuite with a walkway. Now this also overlooks towards the Mount Sinai area but most importantly is that it does not face any major roads. These are all internal sleep roads, extremely quiet and serene. So we have a good size ensuite here with a standing shower. As you walk out, four panels of wardrobe system. Now this is the room that has two bedrooms combined into one. The key reason is because they want to make it into like a junior master with your own living room zoning here. Little living area here with its own suite. The third bedroom is here, having its own walk-in wardrobe as well. So everything is beautiful in size. So something about the stairway architecture is that both staircases are very uniform in nature. So from first to second, second to third, now this is the bonus family zone that we're talking about. We're gonna hit in there later. But first, I need to show you the corner bedroom. Now ceiling height is also fantastic for level two. If you notice, the carpentry is built all the way to the top. Huge windows overlooking towards Bukit Timah. This is a queen bed, two side tables. You have your own ensuite right here, modern design, white finishing. I think importantly is that when you have space, you can renovate it to anything you want it to be. So I'm gonna bring you to the mega master room. Oh my goodness, look at this. The first zone, your own little living area here. You can sit here, 55 inch TV right there on the chest of the drawer. Relax after a long day. Just have a look at the size of the side table. You can already imagine how big and how wide this room is. This is one of the largest side tables we have ever seen. And there are two of them. And it makes the king bed look extremely small. 
you overlook towards this open view here, facing towards south. Third zone, your walk-in wardrobe space right here with two huge panels sliding and then four panels of openable wardrobe space. You still have like a dressing table area. And then your fourth zone, this mega ensuite bathroom here that gives you that long bath, a his and hers, right here with a standing shower unit. And we gotta pay a little bit of attention to this woodwork on the floor. This is very, very solid work here. Usually we just lay the parquet timber long strips right on, but this is a separate design. Definitely wastage are involved because this is really like an art right here that greets you the moment you come in. So this is beautifully done. So what are super penthouses? Now super penthouses has received tremendous amount of interest from foreign luxury buyers over the past couple of years in Singapore. Just have a look at these five super penthouses that has been transacted in the past few years. The very first one will be the most recent one at Canning Hill Pierce was being sold immediately during its launch at $48 million over this triplex, 8,900 plus square feet. Second one will be the super mega penthouse at Marina Bay. That is one of the largest penthouses at 138 million being done. That can be made into 24 different bedrooms spreading over 20 over 1,000 square feet of strata space. Third one will be Wall Lake, 62 million. Fourth will be Lenovo Up More at 51 million. And then the fifth one will be Skaptura Up More at 60 million. Something to note on super penthouses is that it has to be huge in nature and it usually transacts at a higher per square foot amount than its normal floor plate counterparts. Now, the key reason is because the penthouse is already the cream of the crop right at the top of every different tower and there are only so few and so rare of them and super penthouses fall into the next tier category because of its ultra size that's very similar to having like a landed property right in the sky now this one that we're standing in Beverton Court close to about 9,000 square feet of build-up area this triplex penthouse definitely falls into a super penthouse category Have a look at the potential of what you can do on the walk zone as well because on the bedroom walkways you can put all your beautiful artwork right here right here right here also have a look at this i don't think this is included i mean it looks expensive and of course your intercom system is right on level one and two any visitors you can actually do the access entry right from here over this direction you also overlook towards the living room area so very easy for you to communicate as well if you want to shout at your kids Now this is not common. Usually you will go straight to level three for triplexes, but you have a bonus level right here. Beautifully done. This is like a family zone, secondary living hall. You can use this as your secondary zone for entertainment. If let's say you have entertainment that you want to have with your friends without disturbing the rest of your family, this can be the space. You can also still entertain on level one because primarily five of our bedrooms are on level two. So even if you want to entertain right into the night, penthouses are a great space for you to do that. I need to bring you to the roof terrace deck now. Come, let's go. Another storeroom. So you have a separate store here. Putting all your tools right here. Floats and stuff like that, your kid stuff. You can use this area to put your bicycles as well. And as you come up here, There is a combination of full-on unsheltered area that opens up to the sky. There's also a nice canopy right here. Maybe about 30% of the roof terrace space. That is another 10% of the roof terrace space as well. So have a look at this view. This is towards the entire Clementi area. Those are the high rise at Clementi. Of course, over there, that'll be towards one north. And then at the back will be towards the capital zoning. Over that will be towards Bukit Tima. So you're in a very strategic area, of course. I think Mount Sinai needs no introduction because firstly, it's close to Dover MRT station but everybody is here for its proximity towards Bukit Timah as well as Holland Village. You can also travel towards Holland for the MRT transportation. This is within a kilometre to Henry Park Primary School. It's also within a kilometre to Peitong Primary School as well. So having that two schools within a kilometre radius also future-proof this penthouse with the parents' attraction effect. So as you step up, this is something very interesting. Your own private sauna zone on your roof terrace. Can you imagine that? This is like your little paradise. And then you have your shower area here. There's no door at the moment, so it's meant to be really like your own private area. You can put in a door as well. You 
still have an area here for barbecue. This is like a 12-seater sheltered dining space. You have your outdoor resort feel kind of bathroom, WC. I'll declare level 3 as self-sufficient <laughs> because most penthouses don't come with a WC. This penthouse even comes with a sauna area plus a private jacuzzi. You still have this private zone for your entertainment. Let's come back down. The feel is just different because this is really like a landed property but you don't have the need to maintain your own landed property. Things on the external facade are taken care of by the MCST. What you need to just take care of is the internal area. To qualify as a 9,000 square feet home, let's first take a look at how is the landed market doing in the residential zone right here in the D10 areas. To go for an old plot of land, if you're looking for a detached home, that is already trading at about $2,000 per square foot to a 2005 being those renovated type of landed home as well as 3,000 square feet if you're going for a brand new type of landed status. So these three types of landed home averaging at about 5,000 square feet of land size for a detached status right here in D10, they are already trading in the range of 10 million, 15 million and close to 20 million if you're going for a detached freehold status right here in the D10 Bukit Timah or maybe the Mount Sinai area. When we look at the penthouse right here, this is going for $17 million negotiable. We track back based on 8,902 square feet. That is going at about $1,909 per square foot. So this is extremely suitable if you want that dual flexibility in future. For example, this home can be passed on to a Singaporean family Family if you want to exit in 10 to 20 years time. It can also be passed on to a foreign family that's looking to buy a mega penthouse sitting right here in the sky because for foreign buyers, it's extremely difficult to buy a landed property on mainland because you need the special LDA approval. Of course, you can go for the 99 years at Sentosa Cove, but this really caters to freehold lovers. So I would say that this mega penthouse right here at Beverly Court has that very beautiful sweet spot of having that detached landed status in the sky. Yet at the same time, having two different kinds of buyer audience from Singaporeans as well as foreign buyers. And the third thing is that it has that freehold status that everybody is looking for. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour at Beverton Court. Come to the end of our mega penthouse tour. So if you want to have a look at this triplex, $17 million asking price and it's yours. It can be kept as a collector's item. You can pass on with longevity to your family because it's freehold status and you're in a D10 in Bukit Timah, Mount Sinai as well. If you want to have a look at this place, our numbers to our listing managers are right down below. And uh, once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. In the meantime, take care with you soon. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three, four, five. Say number five. Now, primarily the. Okay, sorry, one more time. Let's carry on. You wanna do it again? No need, ah? Okay. Test. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Floor plate, floor plate. Uh, 8,009. Pa, pa, pa. 